And they're off and trotting. A Curie D was uh, right on the gate and fires out. So does Love to Buy. The Masses on the inside. It's those two. Forbidden Trade leaves alertly on the rail. And uh, Loved by the Masses uh, put in play with its academic into the first turn. A three wide battle. E Curie DK three wide coming after Loved by the Masses. Early tussle here. Forbidden Trade back to third on the inside. Its academic is fourth. A hundred dollar bill is fifth. The gap of two to Al Raja in his U.S. debut. And Venerate trails the first quarter was Torrid 26 and four fifths. E Curie D used hard to clear the lead. Takes three eighths of a mile to do it. For Ukis Fonstead, it's E. Curie DK on the front end now. Loved by the masses, settles for the pocket spot. Forbidden Trade is trotting in third. It's academic fourth on the inside. A hundred dollar bill is fifth. And then it's Al Raja one sixth and Venerate is seventh. Single file past the half. E. Curie DK, Ukis Fonstead looking for a breather here. 55 and two and he got it. E. Curie DK leads the way onto the far turn. Loved by the masses. A two hole ride for that one. Forbidden Trade stayed in third. A hundred dollar bill first up on the outside with Al Raja one following him. A live toe fifth on the outside. A shuffle for its academic and Venerate from third over has to pass them all. They've paired up here on Akiri DK in front by three quarters of length past three quarters. A hundred dollar bill on the outside says hello. Loved by the masses needs to shake loose. Al Raja one looking to rally 124 and four in the stretch of the Crawford Farms trot. A Curie DK turns it on, leaves it by two. But here comes Al Raja one on the outside for Dexter Dunn, looking for a big upset here. Al Raja one, a U.S. debut, is a stunner at 18 to one. What a rally! Al Raja one in the Crawford Farms, then close loved by the masses or A Curie DK or Forbidden Trade 150 and four. Second is Atlanta. HP Mama B from in third. Rolling off a traffic trouble trip comes Bella Bellini. Three quarters in 123 and two. Hercules to let them have it there. 27 and two in the third. And she's up front by two. Atlanta back in second. Bella Bellini on the outside third now. Scooting through at the rail is Westland Quest. Hercules is almost there. Atlanta gets to her late though for Gingra. Powering up from the backfield comes when doves cry. Atlanta off that pocket trip scrambles to the front. She'll try and Fend off when doves cry. Atlanta wins the Armbro flight. Up for second when doves cry. Bet Loblini settled for third. Next level stuff. Fourth in 152 and two. Into the stretch of the Arthur J. Cutler Memorial. Open road for the favorite E. Curie. DDK on the outside, right by Quattro de Ulio. Trying to hold on to second. Then it's loved by the masses. Bella Bellina on the outside. E. Curie. DDK almost home. E. Curie. DDK takes the Cutler over Quattro de Ulio. Then Bella Bellini and loved by the masses. A world record performance. And it ties the all time Metal Lens track record of 149 and 1. Treacherous Dragon off cover from in third. Wickedly Innocent on the grandstand side. Fourth now pacing up late. Prohibition Legal's been collared. Treacherous Dragon tracks her down. Here's Wickedly Innocent on the outside now. Treacherous Dragon and on the outside, Stablemate, Wickedly Innocent. Treacherous Dragon almost there. It's Treacherous Dragon to win the fan Hanover. Wickedly Innocent and Prohibition Legal, maybe Boudoir Hanover in 150 and 1. Mares are off and trotting. Westland Quest of 47 to 1 leaves out of there, but there goes next level stuff. Next level stuff, and when doves cry on the inside, Bella Bellini just floated away, as did uh, Atlanta into fifth position, then Ghost in the Shell sixth, unhurried here as they trot to the opening quarter. And they chase uh, when doves cry. Next level stuff, and Tietrich looks to plant her up front. Westland Quest is going up third on the outside. Bella Bellini back to fourth. Then it's Atlanta fifth on the inside and Ghost in the shell. At the opening quarter, it's next level stuff there in a crisp 27 seconds. But hustling up is Westland Quest at 65 to 1. Westland Quest and Andrew McCarthy takes the lead from next level stuff. So when Doves Cry back in third position, Bella Bellini is fourth, Atlanta is fifth, and Ghost in the shell is gapped in sixth. At the half, and it's a give and go as uh, next level stuff retakes very quickly back to the top here. Next level stuff from Westland Quest. When Doves cry third, half 54 and one fifth onto the far turn. So now they're chasing next level stuff. She's in control as they hit that far turn. Westland Quest is right on the helmet second as uh, they race to three quarters. Next level stuff looking for that. Third quarter breather. When Doves cry goes in attack mode third to follow her. Bella Bellini on the outside fourth. Ghost in the shell on the inside, fifth. 
and Atlanta is trailing six third over here as when doves cry spins her wheels on the turn now comes back on at three quarters it's next level stuff the one to reel in 123 for three quarters in the stretch next level stuff in front now with dead aim when doves cry on the outside and here comes Bella Bellini with her stretch offering and Dexter Dunn Bella Bellini hooking up with when doves cry and blows right by Bella Bellini to win again at eight to five Bella Bellini in the six pack then when doves cry Westland Quest and Atlanta 150 and one. Bumper to bumper traffic in this Pepsi North America Cup, and they chase Pebble Beach to the head of the stretch, three quarters in 122 and three. And it's Pebble Beach coming off the turn, a two length lead on Beach Glass. I did it my way down the center. Forever Boy kicked off cover, Ron off cover as well. Deep stretch, and it's Pebble Beach who drifts slightly off the rail, but he's clear by three. Second to the rail is Beach Glass. The Pepsi North America Cup, Pebble Beach in a romp. It's Pebble Beach to win by three with Beach Glass second, Frozen Hand. Over third in 150. Off cover test of faith. She starts to power up late. Deep stretch. Gia Surreal looking for a roses or red shocker. Here's test of faith to give her the deep stretch test. Test of faith powers up on the outside now for Miller and it's test of faith in the roses are red she won it by a length second was Firestart Hanover. Third Gia Surreal. Fourth was Kobe's Gigi in 150 and one. On their way to three quarters, Jimmy Freight outside, almost around Alleywag Hanover. Alleywag Hanover keeps them out there though. Third in behind them is Line Drive Hanover, and they're over to three quarters in 120 and one. A 26 and four slugfest in that third quarter. Jimmy Freight to the front. Alleywag Hanover tries to find more and fight back. Here to the outside, Line Drive Hanover third now in deep stretch. Jimmy Freight outside, Line Drive Hanover comes to him. Line Drive Hanover and Jimmy Freight over the final 16th. Jimmy Freight to in line drive Hanover a late surge Jimmy Freight at the inside Jimmy Freight stands his ground Jimmy Freight line drive Hanover on the outside in 148 in a Mohawk Gold Cup thriller and they're off and it's Ali Wag Hanover and he shoots out hard with which way to the beach from be between horses and Bulldog Hanover on the inside leaves alertly into the top three is a bunk of bed Hanover settles in fourth. It's a dragon set on the inside fifth followed by this is the plan and ruthless Hanover trails. So Todd McCarthy plants alley wag Hanover up front and he's on the iron here. He is revved up boy a Bulldog Hanover second it tightens in a bit there opening quarter was hot 26 and two. Which way to the beach, tracking third off that turn. A buck of bet, Hanover fourth on the inside. Then it's Dragon said, followed by This Is The Plan and Ruthless Hanover trails across the back stretch. Alley Wag Hanover, Todd McCarthy grabbing in here and out of second comes Bulldog Hanover and Dexter Dunn can't wait any longer. Feeds him racetrack and takes the lead. Bulldog Hanover here at one to five, takes charge past the half. Alley Wag Hanover now second, and it's which way to the beach third. The half was 53 and four fifths. A buck of bet Hanover fourth onto the far turn. Dragon said fifth on the inside. And then it's this is the plan, and Ruthless Hanover with three eights to go. They round the far turn. Bulldog Hanover, Alley Wag Hanover second, heading to three quarters. Here comes a buck of bet Hanover third on the outside. Which way to the beach is pinned in fourth right now. Dragon said to the outside. Then this is the plan. And Ruthless Hanover, Bulldog Hanover, and Dexter Dunn. 120 and two fifths, 26 and three. Dazzling speed from Bulldog Hanover. Out of the pocket, Alley Wag Hanover. And uh, spinning his wheels is a bucket at Hanover. Bulldog Hanover, devastation again. It's Bulldog Hanover, four in a row, five for Dexter Dunn. Bulldog Hanover. In the roll with Joe in 146 flat, equaling the track and world record. It's the MGM Yonkers Trot Final. Ready for the start. They're off. Off stride at the start, brave by design. It was a good start for the Philly Joviality. On the outside, splitting rivals to challenge there is Double Deceiver. Justice has speed on the far outside. Then toward the inside, in a bit tight, there was Robertson to the backstretch. And Sears wasting no time. 
puts Joviality, the lowest filly, on the lead. And she scampers away here. She's very keen through this opening quarter. She leads it by three on Double Deceiver. Robertson is trotting in third, finding a spot for Doki with Justice. Behind that one is Severio Hanover. Then it's a gap of two to pour me a double and slay. And after the break, Brave by Design is the distant trailer. Opening quarter, 27-3. One to five for Joviality taking on the boys here as she looks to go a perfect five for five on the season. Letting it by two from Double Deceiver. Long shot, Robertson is third. Justice well within striking range. Oki has that one about five lengths from the lead in the shot of the half-mile pole. Jingra would like to flush out cover with Severio Hanover. Down toward the inside, Pormia double trots in sixth. Slay follows along seventh and eight lengths last to Brave by Design. They went a half-mile, 56-4, and 29-1. Well-rated second quarter, and Sears and Joviality to the backstretch. Maintains a two-length lead and traveling well. Double deceiver second in very tight quarters is Robertson. Coming first up, Justice tries to stoke up a rally. Mario Hanover picks up cover, but stalling there was Justice. And behind rivals, poor me a double and slay with a lot to do. They check it at three quarters in 124 at four. 28 second third quarter as Joviality looks to slam the door here in the MGM Yarkers Trot Final. Every chance for double deceiver. Two lengths back then. Robertson is third between horses tailing off. That is Justice looking for room between horses. Pour me a double. They're in the stretch. It's Joviality in front. Now she'll get tested on the outside by double deceiver. But Joviality's holding firm. Joviality to take the MGM Yawkers Trot final. A perfect five for five on the season. A good effort from double deceiver. Pour me a double third. And Slay was fourth.